Okay, so um, now that we've UV'd the Thor hammer, I'm going to be showing you how to take those UVs into Photoshop and apply some textures to them. So before I actually show you anything in Photoshop, just note that I've gone on to Google Images and I saved two images, which was a th worn metal sort of image. I just went into Google Images, typed in worn metal and brown leather which is for the handle and I save these images to my project folder and then into the source images folder and if we look in the images folder this is where our UVs have saved to so now that we know that let's go into Photoshop and go to file and then open from from here you will want to navigate to where your um, UVs are so I know that mine are going to be in Documents, Maya, Thor Hammer, Thor Hammer UV tutorial, and then they're in images. So here they are. I'm going to do the handle UV first. So I click handle UV and click open. And give it a little bit of time to load in. Okay, so our UV map is loaded into Photoshop right now. However, it looks like it's an empty file. There are, you can see some sort of lines by here, but they're sort of white lines on top of a white and grey background, so they're very difficult to see. Um, and the reason it's done that is because it, it just does that when you save as a PNG. It won't go into that now, what, what, how, how it's actually, why it's actually doing it, but just it's because we've saved it as a PNG. It hasn't got a black background, it's just these white lines. So. What we need to do first of all is rename layer zero by double clicking the text. We'll rename this to UV map. And now we need to put um, a black paint layer below our UV map so that we can see the white lines on top of a black background. So to do that, I'm gonna hit this new layer icon down here, it looks like a post-it note. And you can see we've now got layer one. So double click the text again and call it black BG and BG just means background. So once you've done that, you then need to get the paint bucket tool. And if you can't see it, it may be behind this gradient icon by here. And if you, to get to the paint bucket tool, just hold your click down, and a pop out menu will come and just select the paint bucket tool. And then I've currently got a red selected, so just double click that, and you can just come in, select the black, and now we can make sure we're on the black background layer and click in there and fill it with black. Now, the reason we still can't see that UV map is because we've got a completely black layer on top of our UV map. So all we need to do is click and drag this black background below our UV map. And now you should be able to see we've got these sort of lines, which is our UV map in there. So it's all looking, all starting to come together. We can, we now know what's going on. And if I remember from when I was UV mapping, I know that these faces are the sort of handle area, and so is this set of small faces. And then this part is the sort of underneath of the hammer. So I, so I, I know I need sort of leather textures on these two bits, on these two shells, and then the sort of, you know, the metal texture on this set of faces, the shell. So to do that, I need to, first of all, I need to open inside of Photoshop my other images. So I'm going to go to File, go to Open, and I'm going to come out of Images, and I know in Source Images is where I've saved these picture, these images. So I'm going to open, first of all, Brown Leather. Click Open. And then give it a few seconds to load in, and you'll see it opens it in a new window. But what you can do is just drag this brown leather.jpg, just drag it off like that, so it's like a floating sort of uh, window. And now, if you get your selection tool, you can simply click and drag into our uh, UV document. And then, let's minimize this, we've got our layer one, it's called, but we can rename that by double clicking. So we name it to leather texture. So we've got that inside of here now, and we just need to simply select the image, and we need to scale it down because it's a bit too big at the moment. So if you can't see these sort of arrows, if you make sure Show Transform Controls is on, and then using Shift to keep it uniform, you can just scale down. And I know this, can, we can then rotate it, because it needs to be this brown leather texture needs to be on this set of faces and this set by here. So I'm just gonna do this. 
like so and hit enter and to make sure it's on these faces as well I'm gonna get my leather texture drag it down to the new layer icon and all that'll do is it'll duplicate it so I've now got leather texture and leather texture copy but you can't nothing changes in our sort of viewer because they're on top of each other so if I just click and drag you see we've actually got another one so I'm just gonna scale this down just a little bit and put some of that texture onto yeah onto these set of faces by here so now that that is done I'll just rename this to leather texture 2 um, we also want the metal texture to go on here so if we go file open that metal worn metal texture and repeat the process so we'll break it off so it's just a floating window and we'll click and drag into this document and let's minimize this and now we just want this to appear we can scale down if we want to we just want it to kind of appear on this set of faces so something like that is gonna be fine uh, I'll just quickly rename it to metal texture and if we were to turn all of these off you can see turning them back on where each one relates to um, so all we need to do now is um, make sure when you're saving it that there's no some people like to put the UV map on top of their images so you can kind of see those fine lines by there if you do do that that's absolutely fine just make sure that you turn this little eye icon off so that when we export it we don't get those sort of lines onto our texture because I'll just put it back on model so we need to now save this out so I'm going to go to file save as and then I want to save into my source images folder so I'm going to call it handle texture and I'm going to save it as a targa file so handle underscore texture click save and then you'll have this little pop-up window 24 bits is fine just click OK um, and now that's that texture done which is brilliant so I know I've got another part to my hammer so I'm going to open that UV so I'm going to file open and it's in my images folder and it's hammer main UV so click open and again it's um, we, there are actually lines in here but it's difficult to see them on a white background so I'm just going to rename this double click layer zero text if you were to double click sort of by here it opens a different window which you don't want so make sure it's the text you're double clicking so go to UV map and then again we're going to create another new layer get our paint bucket tool fill it with black and make sure that we drag it below so now we can see our UV map um, rename this to black BG BG meaning background and we've already opened we want the metal texture on here and we've already opened that so if we just go down to here we've got worn metal click that and now like we did before we can just click and drag it into our workspace and if you can't see again these uh, little squares on the outside just make sure show transform controls are selected and I'm just gonna s rotate this I think like that and gen then just scale it down so it covers the whole of the hammer and hit enter and now that's my sort of texture all laid out so again make sure you don't if you do have your UV map you can see it very very likely that if you do have your UV map on top of the texture just make sure you turn this eye icon off and then we can come back out go to file save as um, go to targa actually make sure I'm saving in source images so hammer main texture and click save click OK and that's the um, you know the texture and done <clears throat> so I'm going to come back into Maya where I've got my Thor hammer and if I go to, I want to apply this now. So if I go to right click material attributes, you can see the color node's already got something on, and that's our text, that's our checkerboard. So to get rid of that, so we can put our uh, targa file there, if you right click the word color and go break connection, and what that does is it says the checkerboard that's linked to the color node, we're just going to get rid of that get rid of it so now we can click this little checker box again and instead of clicking checker like we did when we were UV in you can just click file and then it'll open this little window so you can go in hit the folder to browse and select your hammer 
which bit were we doing? I think we were doing the uh, handle. So handle texture, click open. And now if we look in, it's, it's working on this piece on the bottom piece because this is how it's UV'd. But on the top piece, it, it's applied it there as well. And we don't really want that. Now the reason it's doing it is because both these separate pieces have got a texture called, if we go to material attributes, they both have Lambert 1 applied and Lambert 1 has this file attached to it. So it works for the bottom piece, but it's not going to work for the top piece. So that, that's, that's fine. That's all you need to do is we've got a separate texture for the top piece. So we just need to right click it, assign new material, and we'll just give it another Lambert. So this is, I've got Lambert 2 on it. And this one, if we click material attributes, has got Lambert 1. So let's come in good material attributes for the top bit, which is Lambert 2, and do the same thing. We've saved out a target file for the top. So I'll click this little checker box, good file, and then click browse in here, go to hammer main texture, and click open, and you can see now we've got our, you know, our main sort of texture on here. So just like that, you've taken your UV maps into Photoshop, applied some textures, and then reapplied them in our 3D view inside of Maya. So um, yeah, um, that's how you simply apply textures to uh, inside of Photoshop and then back inside of Maya. So um, cheers for tuning in, I'll catch you soon. Cheers.